Hello, it's Gary Colton again. Um, I would like to talk about an issue that has come to mind over the last three or four days. I've now met five chief executives and they all tell me something similar. They're time poor and in particular they don't have the time to set aside for strategic thinking, for strategic planning. Now that confuses me and perturbs me in equal measure. The reason is, if they're not doing that for the business, who is doing it? Isn't that what CEOs are paid to do? Motivate their people, create the right environment, and also do the strategic thinking, develop the strategic intent for the business. So I'm going to mention one way of getting the ball rolling, because like any habit, strategic thinking is all about embedding practice doing it regularly and do it increasingly effectively. So here we go. Time, place, permission, scratching. Now I'll come to scratching a little later, but time. This is about setting aside privileged time in your diary once a week, minimum of an hour. Tell your PA that you are not to be disturbed. You don't take any phone calls. Any time you leave is if you can smell smoke. Place. This has to be away from your office, away from the building that you work in, and not at home. I, for example, do all my strategic thinking when I'm walking through the city of London. It's that rhythm that that's kind of gets me in the, the mindset of creativity. Permission, perhaps the most important thing, we have to learn to give ourselves permission to step away from the process of running the business. It will always be there. The issues and problems will always be there. And you as the CEO are not there to fight fires. You're there to lead the organisation. Sorry if I'm getting on my soapbox, but it really does annoy me when people are not working to their strengths. I mentioned scratching. Now, scratching is a process. I want to tell you about the most wonderful choreographer called Thyla Twarp. Twyla Tharp. Get it right. Twyla Tharp. Wonderful name. She's one of the world's leading choreographers. And she had this process she called scratching. So I please look for her on YouTube. And she's written a couple of books about the process of finding pearls of wisdom from the dross of brainstorming. It's a brilliant process. Scratching. So time place, permission, scratching. It's my invitation. Find the time, find the place, give yourself permission, and most of all, learn how to scratch. That's it. It's as simple as that. The more strategic intent you practice, the better your business will be because you will be more adaptable and people will follow your lead.